Okay, this is my uh, PWM 5.0 review. In case somebody wants to uh, try making this thing, I also give the plans online. Uh, this is my this Moffett here is rated at uh, 110 amps, 50 volts. So this is a 12 volt PWM, but it will run up to 110 amps. And it's limited only by the fact that I have a uh, 40 amp relay here and a 30 amp fuse here. So if you want to get more amps than 40, you'd have to change this relay to something higher and your fuse to something higher. Okay, and this one has the uh, digital uh, amp meter, also the master power switch, and this one here would be for the ignition switch. Okay, so the only thing you have to do to this is completely plug and play now. All you have to do is put it in your car and attach the wires to the battery, the wires to the cell, and the wire to the ignition and then you've got your master switch, your digital uh, amp meter and it's got a one minute delay on timer. People ask me well why do you need a delay on timer? And the reason I've done that is because some of the diesels, the smaller diesels, you don't want to be using your fuel cell when you're trying to start your car with a diesel using glow plugs. So once your glow plugs heat up and you start your engine then this will start up after so it gives your battery a chance to catch up a little bit that's what the timer is all about okay I also uh, modified the shunt a little bit sh shortened it and put it on the negative side this is where the negative battery goes and this is your blue wire and your yellow wire for your shunt for your this is for your amps Okay, we'll go ahead now and we'll just hook it up real quick. My little test thing here, this is my lights. I use these for my load. This is my positive over here to my battery. And my negative goes on here. And we'll use this wire going to the ignition switch in the back here. Now, nothing's on, okay. As soon as I take the ignition switch here, the ignition switch wire, and hook it to power, in other words, turn on the key, your amp meter comes, your voltage meter comes on. <clears throat> and right now, we'll go over here and you'll see that the little master switch is lit up, so you know it's working. Now you're going to wait one minute. Right, we've got 12 volts and uh, 0.1 amps right now. And your little LED is not on, your fan's not on. You get one minute, probably about 50 seconds before it comes on. Turn this down a little bit, blind us. Okay, there it is. It came on. Your fan's on. Your green LED's on. <clears throat> and you can adjust it right here. You can adjust your duty cycle. You can adjust your uh, amperage. And you can adjust your frequency. Now, basically, your uh, power switch is just for emergency shutoff because you don't need to turn this off ever unless you have a problem then you want to shut it off because as soon as you turn the key off everything goes dead okay that's not lit up this is not lit up nothing so this switch here is basically for an emergency so you can shut down the power there it is folks all plug and play if you need to know how to make one just let me know